Hey everybody, it is uh, time for a review on a Robot Damaji, finally. Haven't done this in a while, and I feel a bit rusty, I feel a bit uh, unsure of myself. So hopefully I, I do a good job at reviewing the Robot Damaji uh, Ares mobile suit. Now this figure has been very, uh, very, very uh, much wanted in the community of uh, Gundam Wing fans. Uh, we've wanted a lot of army builders, we've wanted a lot of bad guy suits, and for some reason Bandai is starting to listen to us a lot. If only they would listen to us on a lot of other things. But um, anyways, time to review this figure. It's uh, been out for a while. So uh, like always, time to go over the articulation, accessories, give a little bit of a look at the uh, flight mode or transformable mode uh, that it has, and then later on give you my final honest thoughts on the figure and uh, give you my opinion on whether or not you should buy it or just leave it alone. So uh, let's get into this with the, uh, let's go with accessories for now. For accessories he comes with uh, not too many things but um, really a, a wide array of uh, different stuff. But anyways he comes with these two connector pieces for uh, holding weapons onto his binders or wings or whatever you want to call them. And uh, speaking of which he also comes with an alternate crotch piece so that you can display him in his uh, transformed flight mode on a uh, Damashi stand, so there's that. Uh, other transformable parts come in the form of uh, two different legs so that they can, I don't know, just close up and stay closed up. So uh, there's the legs. You'll of course get uh, two extra sets of hands besides the fists that are already on the mobile suit itself. We have the open jazz hands and the jerking off hands. No, sorry, these are the uh, weapon holding hands. So there we go, we have those right there. Another piece uh, for the body, or of the uh, for the mobile suit itself, is a different head piece. Um, so I guess this is when the mobile suit is in flight mode and this visor com comes down or something and yeah, it's just kind of different, but anyways, there's an extra head. Uh, weapons, you get of course a rifle with a uh, foldable Oh, there it is, foldable handle, and I guess <clears throat> this can be attached to the uh, wings of the mobile suit when in flight mode, or just be held by the mobile suit. Oh, there it is, uh, when the handle is back out. And then you also get two of these uh, missile pods. Now one of them is closed up like this, nothing special, just one piece of plastic. And then the other one is actually, uh, you're actually able to hold it. So it comes with a, uh, I guess, a aiming handle right here on this side and then the actual handle itself right here. It's not too interesting, but uh, I guess it's pretty cool to have multiple weapons. Uh, nothing in terms of melee combat, but yeah, it's pretty neat. So uh, now we can go ahead and go into the articulation of the mobile suit itself. Okay, so to start off, this bastard is pretty articulated. Um, it's kind of hard to pose him and stuff, but that's okay. Well, I don't want to like, uh, it's just, there's a lot of articulation all over the place. So uh, let's start with the biggest thing, and that is the uh, wings in the back. Now this comes uh, actually separated off the mobile suit when in the package, but uh, they can go up and down and that's pretty much it. That's the only articulation these damn things have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh, damn. All right, anyways, um, legs can uh, go up about that high. That's pretty high. Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty high. So anyways, uh, totally out of frame of the camera. Uh, knee articulation, get a bend right there. Can get a good double joint action in the knee right there. And uh, in the toes, we actually can rotate the uh, ankle full 360, and then you can also kind of bend the toes as well. Uh, this little ankle piece right here, this ankle armor, does move. Not too high up, but it does move. Oop, there it goes. Um, arms are pretty basic of any robot Damashi. You can't really go three. Oh yeah, you can. You can go 360 with it. With the arms. Uh, they do rotate at the bicep, so full 360. And they uh, do have... Uh, they kind of don't or do. I can't tell. I don't want to break the damn thing. But uh, it kind of does have double joint action in the elbow. It's uh, connected into a ball piece into the forearm itself. And then the elbow is is a joint. So I would consider that double articulation right there. Anyways, the hand is also on a ball joint. So it can move and rotate full 360. And the whole spiel, it's pretty neat. Um, of course, the sh shoulders do move 
and it's it's just kind of in the way with these big old turbine engines whatever um, but they do rotate and move and I'm sure if these binders and legs weren't in the way they could rotate more but uh, yeah they can move forward and sideways and all that stuff you of course uh, can go 360 with the head and it does move and bob and all that stuff it's connected onto a ball joint but uh, with these two shoulders in the way it's really hard to do um, the torso does move and there is a lot of articulation and that is mainly for the transformation that you can do with the mobile suit uh, but it does move quite a bit, so it's 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 pretty articulated for this uh, suit. It's just kind of all over the place. I wish it was a little bit more sturdy, but I guess this is to fit the transformation of the suit itself. So um, with all the articulation shown, let me go ahead and transform this guy and uh, go through the process of doing that, and then take a look at how it looks. Ugh, take a look at how it looks. That sounds so fucking stupid. Now to start off, uh, I'm just going ahead and taking off these wings just to make things a little bit easier on me. Uh, they just begin the way. But um, several pieces come off on this figure uh, when you transform. First is a, a head, take that off. And right there you see it's a simple ball joint. So, oops, that head comes off. And then you also, let's see if I can remember how to do this. You also, yeah, there it is. These legs come out. So a uh, simple joint right there. Actually, it's just kind of a peg system. So these pop out. There we go. God, that sounds so horrifying. And then uh, these actually go in, and as you can see, they're really a lot shorter, and they just kind of just jab those in. So anyways, let me go ahead and transform this guy, and then we'll go back to uh, what he looks like in his flight mode. Oof, barbaric looking. All right, let's do that. Okay, so this is the mobile suit in its flight mode, and it is quite a bit shorter in the legs. So I guess these fold out, or in the show they fold inward and you know they get trapped underneath the uh, little skirt armor or whatever but uh, it's actually a pretty simple transformation I remember when I was you know looking this figure over before I started reviewing it um, I was thinking it was gonna be complicated but it's it, it's actually pretty easy and um, you know not too complicated at all actually it's all right, yeah, it's actually changed my whole outlook on this figure what's but um, yeah anyways it's pretty cool uh, head swap leg swap and then of course uh, it gets folded on uh, into the torso and all that stuff so it's very very um, well done and uh, yeah so ooh, yeah so let me uh, I haven't put any of the weapons on as you can tell so I'll go ahead and put uh, the weapons on the figure itself and then uh, put it on a display base and then go ahead and go into the final thoughts of the figure so there is one thing I almost forgot to note about the rifle, and that is it, it can actually go into a little transformation itself. Uh, I close up the handle like I showed you, but uh, you can actually take off the scope, which is uh, nicely painted, I guess. Take off the scope and then go ahead and slide it into where the handle was. And so this goes uh, goes ahead and makes it easier to store onto the wings itself, and looks a little bit sleeker also. So yeah, now I'll go ahead and attach this and. Uh, Where's the other things Ugh, off camera? And this, put them on the wings, show you how it looks, and final thoughts. Well, I feel really stupid right now because uh, in my uh, whole process of moving out of my house and getting my own place, I have totally forgot to bring my Tomashi uh, stages, and that sucks. So now I'm going to have to carry this guy in his flight mode. And, uh, yeah, just hold him like this. So anyways, uh, here he is with his weapons. There's his little missile pod, there's his rifle, and he uh, has his little missile pod that he actually has to get to op or gets to uh, hold and whatnot. So uh, now it's time for final thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the final thoughts are uh, really simple, and uh, beforehand, before I transformed this guy, I was actually just really kind of, not really bash, but say that the figure was not great, but not good either. But um, after transforming him, that's totally changed. The transformation process was absolutely simple. Uh, nothing was difficult in it whatsoever. So that's the first pro for this figure. Uh, second is that it comes with a good supply of um, accessories. Now, it's not a lot, but it does make up for what we got with the Leo when it came out by itself. I mean, now we're getting the flight type Leo with uh, the wings and everything, which we should have gotten the first go around. But um, anyways... 
we do get a good supply. We get the missile pods, we get the rifle. It's very, very cool. We get a head swap, which is also neat. So everything combined with the transformation and the fact that this mobile suit has been something that we've all been wanting in figure form, you know, set aside model form for a long, long time. And we finally get it with this robot Domashi. It's such a plus. And uh, really, really kudos to Bandai for making it. So really good job. And then let me just show you the back. Back's pretty simple. Yeah. So it's really a great figure. It's uh, well done and everything in every way. It wasn't too expensive, but right now um, I think they're sold out in a lot of different places. Now I got this at uh, Ami Ami and it was actually used, but it was still in really great shape. But um, again, I had to get this guy used, so looking for uh, one of these figures is going to be difficult. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I definitely suggest going ahead, uh, going ahead and looking for him now. If you have to, try eBay. You know, I don't really like eBay too much, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, great figure. Definitely a must get, and I'm really happy with it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm finally, finally back. Got a couple more to do. And uh, yeah. It's going to be a Gundam Wing type of year this year of all these robot Domashis that, that we're all getting. But anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.